and since we're going to use just a nickel, we're also going to use the card case. And then we need a card selected by someone. So we're going to go ahead and choose any card that they want, no force. In this case, it's going to be the seven of spades, okay? We're going to take that seven of spades, and we're going to go ahead and lose it in the middle of the deck, just like that. So you can see it's lost. It's not one of those tricks where I snap my fingers and your card comes to the top, or it's not one of those things where I control it to the bottom or anything. It is genuinely lost somewhere in here. Now what I'm going to do is take the card box here, just like that, and I'm going to place it on top of the, uh, the cards, just like this. So you can see inside of it, I'm going to ask to borrow that coin. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to give me that nickel back, quarter, whatever, you can sign it. And I'm going to show them, watch, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take that coin, just throw it inside the card case, okay? Now I want you to hold out your hand for me. And I want you to hold on to the card, uh, the card case for me, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put it in my mouth, so watch. This is what's going to happen. And just like that, the coin is gone from here. They can immediately open it up, check it out. See that there's nothing, no holes, no cuts, no slits. And I say the coin didn't go too far, though. It actually melted through the card case, through the cards, and it landed right on top of your card. Do me a favor, then go ahead and cut any amount of cards into my hands. So we're going to go ahead and cut any amount of cards into my palm, and it looks something like this. Boom. That one coin is sitting on one card. Not only one card, right? But their chosen card. And that is quicksand. They're going to go hold out their hand and they're going to hold on to the box just like this. And on the count of three, one, two, three, that coin, boom, is gone.